Hey guys, John here. Sharice. And today we're going to bring you our segment, Cupid's Corner. And this is all about having your relationship healthy and making sure it thrives. So I want to cover a couple points for you that me and Sharice uh, use to maybe help you guys out with your relationship, whether you're married, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever it may be. A little bit about us. We've been together now, married for 12 years. We have a 10 year old son and we own a business together. And we've owned a business together, AKA Tide Medical Center, for seven years. And we've also worked side by side every single day, seven days a week, 24 hours a day, every single day. <laughs> now, this might not be optimal for everybody, but this worked for me and her. There are some common things that you guys can improve on with the relationship by just incorporating some of these tips that we give you. And every week we'll give you some more tips to maybe help your relationship get even better because that's what it's all about, progression. Everything in life is about progression. You always wanna get better through time. Don't ever stay stagnant because at that point things will be dying off, okay? So the first tip of the day is communication. Mm -hmm. Communication's key, I think, right? Huge. Being honest, I, I, not holding back, I, you know, knowing exactly what your partner is thinking. Um, so there's not no miscommunications or I thought this misconceptions per se, or well, I, I thought mean, that was okay. One of the little tiny secrets is a never go to bed angry at each other. So if you say you have an argument with your significant other, boyfriend, fiance, husband, make sure you guys talk about it before you go to bed. Even if it kills you to talk about it, just talk about it, give him a kiss. And the next morning, if you need to talk about it again, you can, but never go to bed, angry at each other, and sleep in separate rooms because it never leads to good things. It's really important that you stay open about your feelings and make sure that you're able to communicate that to your significant other because if you don't, they may not know what is on your mind or yeah. what's in your heart. Yeah, you know, with the honesty thing, it's, it's really important because, you know, if you're not honest with them, then you're holding back something that maybe you wanna do. Uh, or something that you want to say and at that point, you know, now think about what you're saying because words can hurt just like fists, okay? Um, so you want to, you know, think about what you're going to say and present it to your partner, whoever it is, in the most honest way, but, you know, in a, in a very nice way at, at that point too. Don't be harsh on them. Don't go at them. You know, it's, it's like almost mental abuse. We, I see some of these people doing it. Be honest with them, but tell them from your heart. And I think that they'll, you know, they'll embrace that and it will definitely benefit your relationship. It's definitely helped me and Cherise for Absolutely. sure. Another thing is, is prioritize your relationship. It's a job, okay? You have to work for your relationship. Think about when you first got into the relationship with your mm -hmm. partner, how much effort you put forth to really make them, you know, like you per se, or love you and, and you know, wanted to make them happy. You know, I, I think that people get to a point where they get comfortable. Yep. They get comfortable in, in what's been going on and they don't work as hard or they don't prioritize their relationship. Well, here is secret number two slash B. Every single Thursday night for the past 12 years, we have went to a movie and it's our movie night. And it's just something that we've done every single year. We're huge movie buffs. Right. And so it's movies. important though, because that is our time together. So even if we didn't go to a movie, we'd still go to dinner. It's just our time that we dedicate no matter what. So having a date with your significant other, husband, boyfriend, whatever it might be. I don't care if you're 20 years in, it's important to have a date. I mean, it's important to have date night. Absolutely. Gotta have date Absolutely. night. Absolutely. Gotta have that time. That's something you both enjoy, not one-sided per right. se. Like, hey, I wanna go jump out of planes. You know, your significant <laughs> other might do it with you because they love you, but that's not bringing joy to both of you guys. So find common ground of what you guys wanna do. And I think that will help you guys enjoy things together and grow your bond. I mean, that's really what it's about is growing that bond, growing together and not apart. Mm -hmm. Okay, which comes to the third point, respect. Huge. All right, respect your partner. There's a lot of people out there and I'm old school, I'm Greek, right? So I'm the male, I'm the alpha male, you know, but I still <laughs> respect my partner and I'm my wife. I ask her, you know, I mean, you guys are sharing everything together. So if you guys are really partners in everything, you should get the respect to them and ask them their opinion. You know, even if you guys don't agree on it, agree to disagree, but you're at least giving them respect. And I think that's in everything, whether it's our business decisions or our family decisions, it's always there, right? A hundred percent. Another secret, number three slash C, is to make sure that you never argue in public because that Ooh. is considered disrespect to your partner. So if you have a disagreement and you guys need to talk about it, go to the car, lock up the car doors, get it out of your system and do not argue in front of other people because ultimately you will be disrespecting each other 
in, in front of other people. It's never a good thing. Absolutely. So these are a couple tips that we want to share with you guys. We're going to have this segment every show for you guys to bring you guys more successful tips on to benefit your relationship. So we appreciate you guys tuning in today. Absolutely. Yeah. We cannot wait to share all these cool secrets with you guys because it's a combination of 12 going on 13 years of experience. We got a lot to tell you. Make sure you guys follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and check out our website, TitanMedicalCenter.com.